It can happen to anyone very fast and unexpectedly, like Manuel Navarro from Chile, who has been helped through Switchpoint and is now giving back through entertainment. He is one of many faces who was once homeless until coming to Switchpoint. The nonprofit organization sets out to help those who are undergoing homeless issues to find out why and how they can be a resource to help them get back on their feet again. There's so many factors that are uh, affecting and causing homelessness and so we're, we're providing resources to people so they can, we can identify those problems and those concerns and then solve them so people can get back into you know some, some form of normalcy and, and, and being part of society and having some, quite frankly, some joy in their life. During their fundraising breakfast, Switchpoint showed several videos of the progress they've made in 2022, addressing the need for food, clothing, a job, and someplace safe to live and play. One senior citizen in her 80s who found herself living in her car and homeless at least five times is now forever grateful for her new apartment at Riverwalk, which opened its doors to lower income families a few years ago. So they brought me up to my apartment and I have the third floor at the last apartment that looks over Zion National Park. I call my apartment the Eagle's Nest because it's way high up and I can see the mountains, the river, the floodplain, the birds. I love it. Maureen is just one of hundreds who have been helped by Switchpoint over the years. I have lived in my car for a short time when things were really tough, but I don't want to ever do that again. And when I see people having to do that, my heart goes out to them because I know what it's like. I know what it's like. Our mission is to empower people and to help them become self-sufficient and self-reliant. And that's evident in all that we do. In the last eight years, Switchpoint's CEO has walked the walk alongside those who need a place to live and a hand up. She and others realize it takes all of us to build a better community in seeking solutions for the homeless population and those who are struggling to stay afloat, like Kat and her daughter, who needed a way out in order to fulfill that dream. Like, I could go anywhere. My life didn't have to be everything it was before I was there. It could be anything I wanted it to be. And so when I left Switchpoint, I, I worked on the things that I wanted to do. I, I said, I want to go to school. I do want to sing. I want to be a singer one day, but you can't do that when you're starting from the bottom. And so from that point, they help give you belief in yourself. And once that starts, you can almost do anything from there. They just, that's the support. That's the point that you start at. In the last year alone, Switchpoint has opened up Rise Garden, which provides fresh greens not only for residents, but also can be purchased by the public. The Butterleaf centerpieces on the tables came from Rise Garden, and the new Stepping Stones Daycare Center also opened its doors, providing 24-7 childcare for working parents. Switchpoint's mission has also expanded into other communities in Utah, like Tooele and Salt Lake, where more shelters are in the works. However, the mission of today's breakfast was to help with funding for expansion of the current shelter and kitchen in St. George. Above the kitchen, we'll add 16 rooms, which would be 64 beds to move the men out and create more space for families and women in the existing shelter. We only have five family rooms right now, and for this size of county, that's pretty sad. I've said this before, homelessness, it's not inevitable and it certainly is not unstoppable. A goal to raise $350,000 was placed on the table to help accomplish these feats. With the generous commitment of our dollar for dollar match, I trust and believe that we're gonna make it and we might even surpass that. A revolution to end homelessness, which is no longer a dream, it is reality. And Kat's dream of singing also became reality as she sang for the crowd, a song that was very close to her personal journey. From the Dixie Center, Melissa Anderson Community Education News.